have the representatives of Susquehanna. <laughs> <laughs> Once again, you can hold your questions until they finish their presentation. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I kind of want to talk to you about why you want to come to Spokane. We want to come see, we won the bid, so we know we have people who like us. So we wanted them to all come to Spokane. Our, yeah. Our facilities are all located, what? My country, because I hear people screaming. She's fine. Our facilities are located along the Spokane, the beautiful Spokane River. The river runs right through the convention, and it is parks on both sides, an island in the middle. This is where the 1974 World's Fair was held. Um, yeah. Down the river, is, this is Spokane Falls. The Spokane Falls has a gondola ride, which, when I was reading a Con Nast magazine a few months ago, rated it as one of the top ten gondola rides in the world. And it is within walking distance of the convention center. Uh, Spokane weather, sunny, warm, not hot, low dry, and low humidity, and it's so dry that the rainfall for that period of time during the year is measured in microns because <laughs> millimeters are too large. <laughs> so, yeah, so you, you can see, it, it's got a nice, pleasant, and since it is on a river, there's always a breeze blowing because of the water. It's really nice. There's 29 restaurants within a two-block walk of the convention center. Everything from fast food, to really good handcrafted, home-cooked meals. Spokane is a regional center for wineries and craft beers, and it's really well known. One of our hotels, the Davenport, the Post Street Ale House in the Davenport, carries 26 different brands of beer on tap. So I think everybody will know where to go. <laughs> But now that I've told you about beers and Spokane, here's Glenn to tell you, or, or here's Mike to tell you about the facilities. We've got four hotels contracted right now for Sasquatch. The Doubletree, which is connected to the convention center. The Red Lion Hotel at the park, just across the river from the convention center. And the Red Lion River Inn to the east of the other red line. And the Davenport, um, southwest of the convention center. Uh, for the double tray, we've got 300 rooms on the peak nights, 129 single quad, complimentary parking. Uh, we're negotiating right now to use the function space at the double tree for nighttime activities, as well as some convention space like con ops at night. And storage. Um, and they have an airport shuttle, which I believe is free. Uh, you can also catch the shuttle within like a two mile radius of the hotel. Uh, the Red Lions, the uh, hotel at the park, we have 250 rooms on the peak nights, uh, including suites uh, 119 single double, 129 triple quad for the rooms and anywhere from 189 to 419 per night on the suites. Complimentary parking, and this also for overnight guests. Uh, the River Inn, 151 rooms, including one suite, 109 single double, 119 triple quad, and the suite is 199 to 219, depending on the number of people. And it's also got complimentary parking for overnight guests. Uh, Davenport. Uh, 375 rooms on the peak nights, 139 single double, 154 triple, 169 quad, and they have 50% off yield for self parking uh, for overnight guests. Currently, the, over, the price is 15, so that'd be like $7.50. Um, 
We've got uh, almost all the convention center booked. Uh, we're renegotiating the contract now to include an expansion, which is going on, where one of the exhibit halls is increasing in size, and some other uh, meeting rooms are being added on the west side of the convention center. <coughs> I think that's my... Oh. <laughs> that's what yes. I'm afraid says that your time is up for your presentation. And we're going to be pretty strict about... We're going to be pretty strict about presentation time. But there is 10 minutes for you to answer questions. So um, please do feel free to have at it. Um, but, you know, the formal presentation times are going to be quite... Uh, what was that like going to say? <laughs> I was actually going to be very brief. Uh, one is that we have free Wi-Fi uh, um, over all the facilities, including the convention center, uh, at basic rate. If you want to pay more, you can get a better bandwidth, but at least at basic, you know, email surfing, web surfing kind of uh, level, you can get it for free. The other thing, the other thing I was going to say is, is our membership rates are 140 for attending, 40 for supporting, and the usual sorts of discounts if you, you know, be supported and so on, usual credits. Um, and that was really all that I was going to say because we know that you guys are on a tight time budget, so I wasn't going to say much more. When do those rates go up? Um, they will be good for at least to the end of the year. It may be longer, but not, not, not chosen yet. Uh, other questions? Yes, Gary. What is your membership right now? What uh, the number? The, 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 yeah, me, atten yeah, attending supporting memberships. I don't have that number memorized. <gasps> Sorry. I do. Oh. <laughs> There's 951 supporting members. 951 supporting members. There's 551 attending members. Uh, 551 attending. Three young adults. And three young adults. Young adults. <laughs> so there you go. Thank you, Alex. Other questions? Oh, extra. Yeah, um, yeah. uh, there's some question about permits for the car seats. Uh, particularly since three of the four bidders for 2017, so the people really work as many parties there, are based outside the United States. What's the situation with obtaining one of these permits for people based outside the US? So, well, this was actually asked on Fox, and I'll reiterate what I said there. Oh, he asked what the policy is, or how do people who are uh, out of the country obtain a uh, liquor permit, right? Because we have this weird Washington law thing. So, um, the, what I've said is this is um, for every bid, any bid, whether you're in this country or not, if you have trouble getting a permit, We'll, we'll arrange for someone, not me, but someone, to uh, work with you to help you get a permit to act as a U.S. agent for your permitting process if you need such a person. Um, I can't do it because I have to be, uh, um, I can't act as a proxy for the bidders, but we'll get someone. So that's, that's it. Um, and, you know, if you run it, but what I will say is that if you run into any trouble getting it, find, you know, email me, uh, I will be happy to help you, whatever I can do. Is that a question, Dave? No. Oh. It's just waving at me. Okay. Yeah. Aura. You went over the hotels, but you didn't say which hotel was going to have the party. Devonport. It's gorgeous. It, it actually reminds me of this person. A lot. Better than it's nicer. It's nicer than the Okay. Run. Uh, how many suites in the Devonport? 42. Of course. <laughs> Including a presidential suite, which you can get lost in. Which most of you live in. I'm sorry? Oh, the double tree. What? 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 Oh, she asked which, which hotel was connected to the convention center as the double tree. Oh, the double tree has four suites. Six. 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 Yeah. One is Con is Suite, one is Staff Lounge, and four. So the con the, the con suite and staff lounge will be in a different hotel than the party. That's correct. Yes. But they'll be next to the convention center. Right. We'll 
will the con suite be 24/7 or will it be will will there be well, no. Mark, Mark can answer. Mark can answer. Okay, first of all, the question was, will the con suite be 24/7? I would like it to be, but that will be contingent on how many volunteers we get. If we get if we get people willing to do it, I absolutely would love to do that. Well, you know, I know you asked me, and I can't run it, but I, I will certainly be there helping in some fashion. Awesome, and you are the overnight guy, so. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but if Joel's, if Joel's willing to do this to do it overnight, I would love to do that. Yes. I, I have no problem doing the overnight thing as long as I get time to hit the party. I'm good. Absolutely <laughs> done. That does remind me of one little bit, which is we do want all of you to help. Every single one of you. We're, you know, if you see something on the committee list and there's no name by it, or if you see something that should belong on the committee list that's on our uh, our web page, please feel free to contact us. Um, and uh, we'd love to have each and every one of you on board. Glenn, you have a question way up there in the corner. Oh, hey, Robbie. Hi. I thought I'd ask this question on the grounds that nobody's asked it, but you probably need to express it. You've told us two of these are across the river. How does one get there? Bridges. Thank you. <laughs> she asked how do you get across the river to the uh, Red Lions, and there are little bridges. And in fact, there's a picturesque little park in between the convention center and the hotel. It's in, and you just kind of walk over. Uh, can we make an announcement? If, if this is part of their time, yes. and they're willing, otherwise, no. It's quick. I'm Lori Mann, I'm running the program division, and the ID form is up. So if you go to the SASCON website and select program, you'll see a link to the, well, um, the idea form. We love ideas from you. Thank you very much. Emily. How's it looking for flights coming into Spokane? Uh, uh, so. Uh, because are there going to be enough planes flying in? Yes. Oh, what? Um, you know, question? I, hold on. I, I what was the question? That question? Because I work for Delta Airlines, I know that we fly like four flights a day in there during the summer at least. At least, and that's just possible. Awesome. Okay, so Emily asked, what, what, is there enough flights flying into the into Spokane uh, for, the, um, uh, for the convention? And there are two answers. One, Joel was kind enough to provide that Delta flies in four times a day. That's from Minneapolis. Yeah, that's from Minneapolis. Yeah, that's just from Minneapolis. There's a hundred, there's a hundred commercial flights a day into Spokane, handling over seven thousand passengers a day. Well, there you go. Right now, and uh, Frontier Airlines has told us that if their uh, passenger uh, pattern changes, that instead of flying over Spokane to Seattle and then flying back, they will stop in Spokane on the way. No. I'd also like to answer that with, you know, the, the, the Handicap Olympics were in Spokane, and they had a lot more people than we did, and they all flew in. Um, Jerry? How does that compare with how many flights are in the I have no idea. Or Reno. I don't know Reno, but uh, the difference, uh, it's a larger center than, than, than Winnipeg, and uh, one of the differences between Winnipeg and Spokane is that Spokane is in the United States, where we, where, where we have competition in the airlines. Another difference is that uh, 2015 is 21 years after 1994, and airline reservation software has improved somewhat in that <laughs> area. <laughs> Great. Okay. Anyone else? Anyone else? Well, then I would like to thank you all kindly for your time and attention. <laughs>